Hey YouTube, how's it going? Jade here, and it's what? It's a Monday, <laughs> and I'm home from work. I just finished the day job, fought traffic, and I decided to run down here and do the audio for this video. So this is my uh, BBW Batgirl. I got such a good response from my Wonder Woman, uh, larger Wonder Woman lady, that. I decided to do a couple more. So I sketched up a bunch of these uh, over the weekend. There you just saw a little flash of Maleficence, my redesign of her. And um, I'm gonna try to post these fairly quickly because I wanted to just get it done and get it out of my system. Um, you know, if there is something any of you guys would like to see me draw, go ahead and put it in the comments. And I'm sure since I don't have that many subscribers, uh, I will get to it fairly quickly. And, you know, it's always nice to, to hear what you guys think, so go ahead and tell me, and maybe I'll end up drawing up your picture for you and making a video of it. So, uh, Batgirl here. Now, this took about three hours to complete from start to finish, three and a half hours. And I drew it all on a Bristol board and used uh, fine liners and then alcohol-based markers to copy it or to, co <laughs> copy it, to color it in. And uh, I, I got that done this weekend. I was all alone. All the people that live at my house were gone uh, camping, so it was just me and the cats. And. Um, all I did was draw all weekend. It was, it was a lot of fun, very relaxing. Although it was, you know, a bit lonely, but that's all right. That's what, you know, happens when you're uh, staying in the, in the studio basement all weekend long, drawn away on your plump superhero girls. One thing I was kind of thinking about as I was drawing these, uh, these ladies that aren't uh, supermodel skinny was something that Bill Maher said in this old um, stand-up routine he did when he's talking about uh, ideal body shapes and how when he was a kid all of a sudden uh, Twiggy came around and how that became at that moment became the the ideal body shape being super skinny and all the ladies before that like you know, Marilyn Monroe or uh, you know, all those ladies were much more voluptuous. I believe he called them pie wagons, which is pretty, pretty mean. But uh, I started looking at some older photos and he was right. Curves were in. And it's kind of interesting seeing how, to some degree, they started... Uh, you know, actually marketing to, to larger girls in catalogs. Uh, one of the, the people who live here with me, uh, she gets these catalogs, and um, they do. They they're starting to to market all all body types to them, which is it's very interesting. I guess you know that's who has the money. Is the average American isn't a tiny little thing. So if they want to get the sales, they want to actually start showing attractive clothing in, in women uh, the size of the consumers. Which is, is you know, more realistic and, uh, and nicer. You know, at some point, we get tired of having society tell us what we're supposed to find attractive. Because it's basically, uh, you know, you want, you like what you like. Anyways, this is my Batgirl. Um, I believe I got this photo uh, reference from, from Batgirl here. From a European um, bra catalog. From, uh, an English broad catalog that someone sent me uh, for photo references and 
I thought it was striking because in the, in the, the model, she's actually standing just like that with her hands on her hips, you know, very superhero-esque. I was thinking she'd make a great Batgirl. I actually had it picked out when I saw the photo. I'm like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. And then I was also looking at like some of the old Batgirl costumes from the TV series with Adam West and from the uh, Batman and Robin movie. And I kind of went with more of like an armory ribbed look. So like the corset has kind of like uh, platelets and ribs on it and so does her trousers with the, the blue piping. And then I went with like smaller gauntlet spikes to kind of mirror the curves of her shapes for her hips and her breasts. And I think they turned out pretty good. And then I went for an older, talking about like stylized designs, I went for a like an older version of the bat symbol across her chest, which wasn't so uh, you know so spiky. It had more more simple lines and more curves to kind of accentuate the rest of her. And I was noticing, in the, I was noticing in the old Batman cartoon or cartoons, the old Batman TV show, where Barbara would wear uh, a red wig to kind of throw everybody off on who Batgirl really was. And I decided to make her a real ginger because I have a buddy at work who's a redhead and she's got freckles, so I threw freckles on her. It's uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but. They're there, right underneath her cowl. And I went with a green-eyed Batgirl, also. Um, kind of like the whole green-eyed Irish Irish lass. And I was thinking, Gordon. What kind of last name is Gordon? So I don't, I'm not quite sure if the Gordons were, were Irish or not, but that's kind of where I got the idea for uh, her skin tones. But there I am drawing everything in with my white gel pen. I'm going to go order some more of these. Man, they go quick. So I found on Amazon you can buy them like packs of five and I got someone to order right now. Hopefully we'll get here shortly before these ones run out. I also got to get a bunch of copy refills too. Well, anyways, this is a short one. So thank you very much for uh, watching my video. I hope you made it to the end. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe. Please subscribe, please comment, and please like. All that stuff's super appreciated. Makes my day when I see them. And I reply to all my comments, at least I do right now, because I don't get a lot. So, peace!